happy Sunday, everyone. I'm going to give the room just a minute to build. First time back in a while. And I think I may have gotten just a little bit rusty. So we're going to give it a shot tonight. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. I do appreciate you checking out the live stream. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for bearing with me over the last uh, few months. It has been um, it has been a challenging um, last five months. It has been um, a lot going on with my family. There has been a lot going on with work. There has just been, life has just been leafing um, for nearly the last um, almost six months. Happy Sunday, Sunflower Six. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Ladies, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I'm starting a little bit early tonight um, because there's just, I can't do six o'clock right now. I'm going to get back to it. Um, it is, oh, where? Oh, my goodness. Where do I want to start? Do I want to start with the life update? Um, so, if you have been here for a while, then you know that I oftentimes talk about um, my family and I share stories and I am um, always back and forth to South Carolina. I'm back and forth to Tennessee, I'm traveling for work, I'm visiting family and friends. That's just kind of my thing. Um, but August of last year, unexpectedly, I lost my mother. And mm, it is still difficult to even say that out loud. Um, Ooh, maybe this is too soon. Um, and then, um, not very long after losing my mother, I didn't make it quite, um, I didn't make it quite three months before I lost a cousin. And then this morning, lost another one. And I've tried to give myself time to like grieve and to find new normal, uh, but I'm struggling to do that. And I can't process one loss before I'm going through another one. So um, with this one today, I realized that I just have to keep putting one foot in front of the other and moving forward. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to go the whole time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover everything that I wanted to talk about. But I know that I've shared with you that life has been lifing and... Uh, six o'clock on Sundays has just been really, really hard for me because that after we have, oh, after the live stream, that was um, a time. There, there were some Sundays that I would talk to some of you or text some of you after lives, but more and more and more that had become a time when I talked to my mom. And for the record, I talked to my mom every day. So that in itself has been hard to not do. But then to go back into a regular routine on Sunday evenings and not being able 
to finish that routine has been something that I've struggled with. So it's been a lot easier for me to film and upload and just engage in the chat than to go through a full live and then at 7 Eastern or 7 15, 7 30, whatever time I got finished with the live to not be able um, to have that time with my mom. So three family losses in a five month time period. I have just not been in a good place. And the thing about grief, and I know all of you know this, is that one minute you're fine, like getting set up for tonight and, you know, pulling boxes and deciding what I was, I was fine. And then all of a sudden you're overcome with it. And um, my loss today was a family member that was mm, there for me during the loss of my mom. and encouraged all of us to, you know, not waste a day, not waste an opportunity. So that is what I'm going to try to do today is to not miss an opportunity to do something that I enjoy, um, to not miss um, an opportunity to share uh, because my mom was literally here fine one day and then gone the next completely unexpectedly. My cousin who I lost after my mom um, had been having some health challenges. Um, but we still didn't. It wasn't at that point where we thought that we were going to lose them. And then my cousin who passed away this morning was in a car accident. So all of it, so sudden and so unexpected. But I can remember back at the end of last year, well, now 2021, beginning of 20, end of 21 and beginning of 22, I can remember being on a live saying um, that I was, there may be some Sundays that I'm not here. And I don't know why I felt uh, compelled at that point to be like, don't, don't cut your time short. If you're with family, if you're traveling, stay present, spend the time and I didn't know that at that point I was going to be experiencing such a significant loss in a short period of time. So I'm glad that I did that. Um, the lesson there for me is that while we may not understand certain things, we know when something is weighing on us, when something is pulling or compelling you to do something different. I've learned even more over these last five months to not disregard it because sometimes it's a, it's a, um, no, it's not sometimes. Those feelings I have learned are gifts. It's a gift to help you reprioritize so that you can maximize the time, the space, the energy that you have. And we don't always understand it. Um, but as I was talking to my sister today, we were literally just talking about my cousin like 9, 30, 10 o'clock last night. And before 3 o'clock this morning, he was gone. That's just how quick these losses 
have happened over the last few months and I can't I don't I don't know what this year is going to bring um I can't promise you that I'm going to be back in a regular routine on Sundays I'm going to continue to claim my time and this is what I'm striving for but at the same time um when I have the opportunity to enjoy life on the other side of this screen, as I was compelled to do at the end of 2021, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to encourage each and every one of you uh, to do the same because there's so much uncertainty. There are so many there are so many different ways that you can lose a person. And some of those ways are not permanent, right? Relationships change. But when you experience a loss that is permanent, you cannot come out of that on the other side and not be changed. Sometimes for better, other times for worse. Um, but all of that to say, I'm here tonight because um while I thought I was taking the time to try to find new normal after losing my mom then I experienced another loss then another loss this morning and then in the midst of all of that someone that I had um started really forming a relationship at work um passed away about four weeks ago as well, it has just been a lot. So, um, retail therapy has at times been fun. At times it has been a distraction. Other times I have had no interest, but I did pick up, I feel like it's February and I'm still talking about birthday gifts and birthday purchases uh, from two months ago and that's it, uh, I, I am. Um, I do have a purchase from Furla that at some point I will share. I have one from Tori Birch um, that I pulled out to do tonight but I think I'm going to wait on that one. I think I'm just going to focus tonight on Dooney and coach and then maybe finally we can move into like the black friday christmas after christmas sale purchases because my no my my no buy low buy has been um grief buy so let that's what that's what i'm gonna um that's what I'm going to call it. All right. So here we go. Because I cannot see anymore. Um, let's see here. I can't get the chat to come up. Who do we have? Okay. So it's not giving me. I don't think it's going back as far. I see Suz. Mono's Beauty. I see Sunflowerish 6. DJ King, Clove 007, Jara B, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, Nikki 81, New York. Um, I see Samaria Robertson, Lucy Lou, Sherry Johnson. And I can't, the, the chat is not letting me go back um, above that. So if I missed you, um happy sunday welcome i apologize it's not letting me go back to the beginning of the chat all right so this is going to be hi becky bates happy sunday this is going to be all over the place just prepare for it it is what it is at this point uh, the first is an item from Coach. I can't remember. I think this was an outlet purchase. It could have been a retail purchase. 
I have I, I don't I don't even I don't even know. I think it's an outlet purchase. Um but I wanted a card case. So some of you like Mo, DJ King, Rosalyn Ellis, you ladies um, may recall because I probably warn you all out that I made a coach card case purchase back at the beginning of the pandemic. Hey y'all, I don't know where that card case is. I, I'm, I'm convinced it got mixed up in some packaging and just got taken to the curb one night with trash because I, I don't, there's no other way for me to explain it is other than it's gone. And since then, of course, that card case is no longer being sold by the Coach Boutique, which is where I purchased it from, paid full price for it, and now it's gone. Another reason not to pay full price for things. Um, but I have been on a card search since then, and I keep buying card cases. I've bought accordion card cases. I bought Kate Spade card cases. I've bought Deluxe Mo's. I have bought uh, uh, card cases from, look, I, I'm, I'm just in a place where I'm trying to replace the one that seemingly has disappeared in this accessory phenomena. So anyway, I picked this one up and mainly because it's red it's small. It will work in my smaller bags. I think this one was an outlet purchase, but I can't confirm that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this was an outlet purchase. This was an outlet purchase. So red, it has just the text on the front. It doesn't have the actual hardware um one two card slots on the front duplicated on the back and then it has the center top uh standard card case and i'm gonna just put it right here because i've got other card cases right here and maybe it won't get lost to the chaos gods in this room all right so that's one item the next item I hinted to when I per, um, showed you guys the plum wine, Denison, Janine, and the L Zip wallet. Told you that I picked up another Carrington pouch, and this one was in the color taupe. I have tr I didn't open this and take it out, and I should have pulled a bag. But now I've got stuff all around me, so I can't do that without major chaos. But I got this because I thought that it would go great with my light taupe. I have light taupe in medium Russell, light taupe in Smith, light taupe in the East West Chelsea. Is that right? Chelsea? Yeah. Chelsea, I have light taupe. I think it is in the regular size Shannon. I've got a couple of things in light taupe. I also think that this color combination will go well with um, maybe Ecru if you're trying to warm it up just a little bit, looking for some texture. I, I don't know. I should have, when these were on sale, my regret is that I did not pick up all of the colors at that time because the sale price was amazing and they have not been discounted since then. This is the traditional Carrington setup. They're calling it the Dooney Large Wristlet now. Those of us that have been rocking with Dooney know that this was originally the Carrington. That's how we got introduced to it. That is the name that most of us made our purchases. Um, so there is the setup, six card slots, zipper on the back wall, front wall is a slip pocket, and then you've got this open space here in the middle. If you are a big wallet person, this will work. If you are a clutch carrier, this will work. If you're looking for grab and go, this will work. Now this version of the Carrington does not have 
um, I won't be able to see anything without that. Um, uh, this version does not have the wristlet attachment, but I'm okay with that. It has a large enough D-ring that if you wanted to attach a wristlet strap from one of your other accessories, you could make it work, especially if you have a darker brown wristlet. This one, just like the Plum Wine, has that Timoro brown. It is more of a matte finish too. I know it looks like it's got a good sheen, but a lot of that is just the light reflecting off of the leather with the textures and highs and lows. I do feel like this Denison is a little bit, I, let me not say matte, because it's not matte, it's just not a high gloss. It's more of a semi-gloss or sheen, if I'm thinking about paints. That's what it is from a text, from a finish standpoint. I love these. So if I'm thinking about accessories that are like my go-to, you know, uh, a double zip wallet from Coach, I got kind of introduced late to that, but it was only after... Dooney discontinued the Willis crossbody wallet that many of us purchased during the time of the summer that we had the, what was the collection? Montego and Siesta prints. That's when Willis, right? Because there were several folks that got it in the lollipop swirl. There was also a Carrington in that at that time. That was available. So the Willis, the double zip um, from Coach, that those are go-tos for me. Alice, I know that was a big wallet for some of you, um, but I love an Alice wallet. Uh, the Coach Double Zip Wallet, not the wristlet, the Double Zip Wallet is a go-to. I reach for that one often. I also reach for a Carrington and the Duty and Berg Large Zip Around Wristlet. Those like wallets that you can stick like your whole life in, phones, double checkbooks, all of the cards, all of the rewards, no need for necessarily the overflow wallet. Everything fits in those. Those are kind of my go-to. So I regret not picking up every single color. I only picked up the plum wine to match my bag and this taupe, light taupe. To go with some other bags, but I should have gotten it in every color. So let me know in the chat if you picked up any large wristlet. So whether it's the Denison, because these were available. There were also a few available in the pebbled leather, which was a part of the Patterson collection as well. So let me know that in the chat. All right. So that is number two. All right, number three, we're going to bounce back to Coach. Put my glasses back on because I, I don't remember what the color on this one is called. Okay, so this is the accessory. I bought the bag as well. And this is the Signature Dempsey Large Corner Zip in the color Wine Multi. And I bought this one because there was a bag in the Dempsey collection that I wanted. And here it is. There's the wine. Uh, we're going to call a thing a thing. That's a pink or blush. And it is, it does have the wristlet strap. I know. I just, I could not get over this wine. I don't know what it was, but it caused me to look over the doggone pink. I had to have it. And if you remember some of the shorts that I posted a while back, a couple of um, Shop With Me tours, this collection appeared in a few of those videos. They appeared a few times, one, because I was trying to kill some time because I had gone back to work after bereavement leave and I needed something to do in the evenings. I couldn't just go back to the hotel and sit and cry. 
So every store that I went in, of course, was featuring this collection, these pieces. And after seeing it over and over and over, thank you, sus. It's it's you're right. It's not pink. It's light mauve. We're gonna go with that. Um, I it just grew on me more and more and more because when I first saw it, all I could see was pink or the light mauve. As as sus has rescued me, so I picked this up. And I love the fact that the interior is not black. I'm still having a love-hate relationship with Coach because when they say large, where is it? This to me is a large. This is not. And then when I hear large, I think, six or eight card slots and organization and that's not it they have two card slots in here and that is the only organization but it will fit my phone so it gets a pass because it will fit my phone and it has a wristlet strap attached but other than that that's where the obsession lately with the card cases has come in because it's not truly large in size. It doesn't have the organization I like. Okay, confession. I bought it because I bought a bag and I wanted a bag. I wanted an accessory to match the bag. Will I probably use this in the bag? Maybe, but probably not. Truthfully, at some point. My sister will probably say, can I have that? And I'll say, take it with you. There we go. Re Transparency Sunday. How's that? So the bag that I was drawn to. Is the, the outlet version of the Field Tote 40. So we're talking about the uh oh let me hold on okay okay there she is i don't know what it is about this color because coach has had this in orange and while i liked the color combo i was like i'm probably not going to reach for that but whether it's a lippy whether it's a shirt or a skirt or dress this wine color combo is something that i have a tendency to gravitate towards so I gravitated and it gravitated to my cart and it gravitated to a truck and it got gravitated delivered to my porch. <laughs> so I love this. So clearly for my birthday, I was on a tote kick, which is not unusual here. But for some reason, this year, Jacquard, because think about it, my Tory Burch studded tote, which I am still living in, Jacquard, Jacquard, Jacquard. I don't know that it was its texture, its prints, its Jacquard. I, I was I was having a phase. I'm gonna call it that. I have not, of course, I have not carried this one yet, but this one, which is coated canvas, as you may recall, got featured in a handbag happy hour a while back. And right now, I am torn between whether or not I want or need the red, um, it's the sport red one that's on 
the coach boutique site because I do have this one. Not saying that they're the same leather versus the coated canvas with the leather trim. Um, dare I say outlet versus boutique, but I do have this one and I love it. I have assembled quite the collection of um, totes and this one got added to the mix. So there we go. It's going to be a great travel bag, purse, work bag, laptop bag, weekend bag, you name it. I love it. I love it. And I love the bag more than I love the accessory. And I also love the fact that unlike some of my other bags from Coach, the lining actually, I don't know if you can actually see it, but the lining actually is more closely tied to the color of the bag than just being a black hole. Is it my Dooney Red? No, because nothing compares with a light or bright, as in red, color um, from a, a bag lining. But that wasn't enough to stop me from pulling the trigger. It wasn't. It wasn't enough. So there is the next one. And I love the fact that the bottom is finished in leather, that it has feet. I like the leather on the bottom of the field totes best of all. Um, if it's not a full leather bag, I love the fact that the bottom is leather because it will help minimize that sagging and help the bag maintain its structure. So I like that. This one also has um, the D-rings, of course, on the sides for the strap. And the strap is in here. And let's take a look at the color. Again, it's, I don't, I, maybe it was subliminal messaging like those um, Sprite commercials where you hear whispers all night long that you want to Sprite, want to Sprite, you want to Sprite, the lemon lime refreshing, and then in the morning you wake up or in the middle of the night and you're like, I gotta have a Sprite. Maybe that's what this was during that time when I was in and out of the outlets killing some time. Um, I just felt like I had to have it. So that's it. Wish they had done the strap color differently because there is, Nothing black on this bag, and yet the strap is black. Yep. Um, no, it does not have a pocket on the front like Tory Burch. It's just the patch. And the patch is kind of um, it's in the family of Dooney's light. Mm, it's not light taupe. It's more in the color family of F Crew, but it does not have the pocket on the outside like the Tory Burch. It has the stitching all the way around. That's a great question. Maybe Coach should consider that because that's a lot of leather, could be faux leather, um, that is on the front for a design element that doesn't have any function. And I say it could be faux leather because the tribe and I have been watching several videos. I think it's Tanner Leather. They're ton, they have a ton of shorts, but they also have um, a YouTube channel. He is all into leather, but what he does is he takes popular brand bags, and Dooney has been included, by the way, um, alto pieces. But he takes all different um, brands of bags, and he deconstructs them. And then we'll talk to you about the quality of the leather, the construction, how much the leather actually costs, how much it should cost the company on average to assemble a bag, 
and whether or not the price that they are charging for the bag um, is at a premium. So whether you're paying for um, more of the name, i.e. LV, or whether you're actually getting quality, i.e. Dooney and Burke. Peter, I'm coming back home, baby. <laughs> that I have, I have um, explored. Um, I have found a couple of things from Coach that I will consider to be like forever in my collection, especially accessories. Not as impressed with Coach's leather of today as it was, you know, in the 80s, 90s. Heck, dare I even say the early 2000s. But again, don't come for me. That this, I'm a Dooney girl. So I had to venture out and I am finding my way back to my first love, which is Peter Dooney and Dooney and Burt. Um, the other thing that I'm glad that in my exploring um, I found is MCM because I have been extremely pleased with my MCM purchases. Y'all, I even, I have um, a, an MCM, my, my work phone is in an MCM phone case. I have been very, very um, pleased with my gifts from MCM, i.e. the phone case, and then also with my purchases, which is everything else, just so that we're clear. I did have a bag that was friend mailed to me by one of my tribe sisters and I love that bag as well. Um, so that one was gifted to me, uh, phone case gifted, but everything else MCM on my channel I have purchased with my own money. I love MCM. Their leather is spectacular. Now, what I do need MCM to do is to go back to their older canvas because this new canvas is not where it's at. All right, I'm off with the tangent. I'm done with that. Let's, um, I'm going to sit this here. It's probably going to show up on camera, but it's sitting on another bag that I want to get out of the way. Okay, so. Which of my address? Yeah, so, okay. So, another small Dooney purchase. Y'all have seen it already in my on my channel in, just toss that. Okay. Lizzie, in the light tote. The picture that is on both um, Dooney.com and on I Love Dooney, and even if you go over um, to, even if you go over to eBay, the I Love Dooney store on eBay, the pictures are way off on the color of the light tote. But at $65, if you missed out on Lizzie, I think Lizzie right now is $130 on the site. And on eBay, oh, somebody check check me. Because I don't want to, I don't want to quote it wrong, but let me just say this. It's not $65. It's not $65. And this color I absolutely love. The other week, I thought that I was going to be able to snag the chestnut when it was back on sale, I think, for $67 or $69, but it was not included. It was the light tote that was only being featured at that price, and I already picked this one up. So, um, there are plenty of videos on Lizzie, including the video on YouTube from uh, QVC when they released Lizzie, I think it was like almost two years, no, a year ago, a little over a year ago. Um, I've also featured it and there have been seven, thank you, Mo, it's $143 right now on eBay. I paid $65 for this during um, the holidays um, from 
I picked it up on ILD. Is that ILD? As a door buster, that was ILD, right? Y'all not doing it. Hey, hey, I, look, I'm out, I'm out of the, I'm out of rhythm. I didn't do any research on it before. I didn't, I didn't drop down any notes. I'm going to get better. I'm going to get back into the swing of things. This is, we're going to just call this a haul. <laughs> That's, that we've transitioned in. It's just a haul. I'm just showing you what I have. Don't look for education. I've done that on um, other videos. I will show you at some point how I have packed and used this because, listen, Lizzie is a great little small bag. I'm not even going to call her grab and go because she's so cute. Like the chain detail on the strap. Um, hold on, let me get it. The size, the interior, the organization. She, to me, she's, she's more to me than a grab and go. I'm going to put her in the same category as I did Ella in my best of 2022 because she deserves to be on the shoulder to me, not tucked inside of another bag. That's my opinion on Lizzie, on Ella. Now, I still got to figure that out for me with my coach, No Leaders. But this one, she, she stands alone. She stands alone. All right. So, let me get this back where it needs to be. All right, so the next one is next box. I don't even remember what this is. I can't tell from the um, from the code on the side of the box. Uh, the color code is SD. That's right, Rosalind. Nobody puts Lizzie in a corner. All right. So we'll figure out what this one is together because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's an accessory. Okay. <laughs> so... This is the color sand, and clearly it's a card case, and I don't know that I remember picking up sand, but clearly I did. Um, I don't know where I stuck the receipt for this one to tell you how much it was. Because as stuff started coming in, I started consolidating boxes and moving receipts out. So I apologize. But it is in the color sand. And this is not technically a card case. Because Junie's card cases look like this size. And you can tell there is a difference in the size. But it's a small zip around something wallet. Um, yeah. So, it doesn't have the name on here. It is the color sand, but I it doesn't have like the name on the tag and it doesn't, it, it confirms sand. So, it has two card slots here on the back it has some accordion space zipper in the center for coins and safety pins <laughs> it has some accordion space here and then two more card slots why did i get this because it only has four card slots was it for the color or was it a price um, did I buy this for me? 
or did somebody stocking stuffer for Christmas get in the wrong stash? I'm not sure. Um, uh, did I buy this for me? Y'all, I, I, I don't know why I picked this one up. Because I haven't purchased a sand-colored bag. Okay, what could I have purchased this to go with? Did I buy this for somebody? I don't know. But it's here. I'll figure it out. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I'm really a fan of that one. But I think I have a couple of this style in Greta. That I don't think I've shared yet. Why did I purchase this saying though? I don't know. Let's keep moving, people. Let's keep moving. All right. The next item is one that I'm hoping is okay because I've been watching videos and some of them have been not in the best condition. And that is Lizzie in red. If you miss out on Lizzie, I'm sorry. I tried to post videos. Um, and, you know, play-by-plays and recommendations of what I felt were don't-miss deals, and Lizzie was one of them. Um, I think that this paper, Dooney, Peter, I think this is kind of like an acid paper. It's not just straight, like, um, what is the doggone paper you put in like gift bags? Why did I just draw a complete blank? Um, uh, tissue paper. I don't think this is just regular tissue paper to protect because it, it feels like if they wanted it to really stay in place and protect that it would actually wrap around the entire bag and stay in place to protect the logo but it doesn't, I have yet to open anything from Dooney where this uh, paper is covering what it's intended to cover. It's always somewhere else looking crazy in the packaging. And I am seeing, hold on, some of that. It looks like there could have been some difference in here. Uh, but it's probably going to even out pretty quickly with me because y'all know I'm a red girl. And if you, um, the last time I showed my large red Russell, it probably needs a bath. Um, yeah, so as I agree, they need to throw the paper out. It is doing more harm than good. I cannot remember the young lady's name, but I stumbled across her video regarding, um, she purchased, I think it was two Lizzie's, one for her, one as a gift, and both of them were going to need to go back because this little acid paper had caused this coloring. I think Mo had um, some issues with her Lizzie as well, where there was this discoloration. I, that paper is doing more harm than good and I feel like it's doing it more on the darker colors than the lighter colors because I didn't see I don't see any place on this light taupe one where it caused an issue but it's like eating up yep that's it so it's Leah's wardrobe um I don't see where it's causing the problem on the lighter colors but the darker colors this little criminal um, needs to serve time in a prison away from my bag. So here we go with lit. Listen, I didn't get Lizzie and Chestnut, but after I didn't and I wanted it, it was too late. It's too late. Don't make that mistake. Okay, so next, is that it in that box? Okay, that's it in that box. All right. We got another box. I'm sure my trash guy hates picking up my, on my at my house on box departure day. <laughs> All right, 
So the next one, I'm trying to, okay. All right, so this next one, I'm not gonna say it was a wish list bag. Um, because I think wish list has a very specific meaning to it within the community. So I'm not gonna say that this next bag, I'm gonna stick these over off the side. I'm not gonna say that this was a wish list item, but it is a bag in a collection that I wished Dooney would bring back. And my only regret this time is that I kind of hemmed and hawed about the size and whether or not I needed one or two or three or none. And by the time I decided that I wanted two of them, I went back and I hemmed and hawed again about the size, the size and the rest of the community was certain and it sold out it was gone so it's a florentine purchase i'm excited about this bag because um it is i cannot wait to see the patina that develops but i am irritated to no end the way duty shipped it because it shipped flat <sighs> Harvey Squill <laughs> this is the flap satchel and if you have been here for a while you've heard me talk about this collection and the fact that when it was available during its debut years ago I looked at that bag, I looked at everything in the collection, and I felt like Dooney had made the entire collection backwards. The logo patch was on the back, it had this bold whip stitching on the front. I just could not get over the fact that I felt like this bag was made backwards. Like, in t I don't know whether it was intentional. At the time, I thought it was a production mix-up, and they just decided they were going to sell them and see if people would overlook it, and I could not overlook it. I still, in 2023, feel like the logo patch is in the wrong place. I still feel like it's on the back of the bag that it's in the wrong place. But I think my love for Florentine and my love now for whip stitching overrides the fact that they still made this bag backwards. But I don't understand why they didn't stuff it and put it in the box while it shipped like this. So I know that there were probably other people other than me that made this purchase and I just need to know, did yours come stuffed? Like did they so did, did I get somebody's return without the stuffing and they just threw it in a box and sent it to me? Because if so, I'm irritated. I'm still going to carry it. And in a little while, when I bring it back and show you what it looks like, you're going to see that the patina is deep, dark, and richer than it is now. Because y'all saw what I did, you know, in just a few weeks with my most recent natural Florentine pad purchase, right? My... It, I, listen, if we got a patina a bag, we might as well get started from the beginning. So I'm going to get moved in the herd because there's going to be some rain. Winter is still here, so there's going to be some snow. There's going to be some sunshine because the best way to get this natural Florentine broken in, in my opinion, is to break her in. And I am loving my Florentine tote, that patina, all of the love marks and dings that I put on the bag. I am loving it. Now, if I'm able to get all my stuff in here some kind of way without having to downsize too much, then I will stalk the Timoro Brown color because that was the other color that I was on the fence about. Um, but I feel like I need the Timoro Brown. But I hemmed and hawed. 
I also hemmed and hawed um, on whether or not I needed it in red more than I needed it in this natural color and clearly the natural one. Look at this whip stitching. Oh, we. This pebbling, I'm glad that it's on the bottom. But as I'm looking at it now, it looks like we got a split cow. Like it's smooth on this side and textured on the other. Ah. You heard that hardware? Oh, I can't even do it with one hand. That hardware is amazing back zipper pocket and do you see what i mean about the logo patch being on the back of the bag there is no branding on the front unless you know whip stitching and then of course you know with suny and bird but i feel like this should be here or here or here or off to the side here it, i just feel like it should be it should be on the front i feel like it's still misplaced but I'm over that because I missed out on this collection in this bag. Zipper pocket on the back. Let me see if my phone will fit. I don't think it will, but let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a no on the phone. it from it's a no on the phone that's a waste okay braided zipper pull on the on the back Got some scratches, but that'll be all right. I'm going to put some more on it, and then it's going to darken, and it's going to look like it's been there forever. And then whip stitching on the straps. The next thing that's on my list, now how I haven't purchased it, but they have the... Um, Let me focus on one thing because I've, I've, I've gotten out of my routine and multitasking has not been my strong suit lately. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this off. <sighs> Y'all, okay. All right. Okay. Look at that. Look at the details on that. Mm, look how it's finished. I'm about to tuck that string in. I'm about to get some tweezers and tuck that in. But look at that. Oh, so I'm glad that I have it. The interior slip pocket on the front, just one. Got, of course, the key keeper, and then the back wall only has a zipper pocket. It doesn't have the slip underneath. It does have the collar of suede, so you know it's Florentine, that signature suede around the top. And it does have a pretty wide opening, which I'm happy about because the way that the strap attaches, it could be very restrictive, but it actually kind of works like an accordion and actually gives you a bit more space even though it's attached here. So I am so happy that I was able to finally get this one 
and that I didn't have to go to the secondary market in order to get it. But I am irritated that they shipped it folded. All right, we're going to stuff that and give that leather a little bit of time to um, stretch or shape or form or wh whatever. All right, so there's that one. When she comes back, she's going to be just as, as tanned as my East West shopper. As my Buckley, I'm just gonna I'm gonna move in her and I'm gonna let her do what she does, and that is get more beautiful with time and wear. But I do need to figure this out because this side is matte, is um smooth and shiny, and this side looks more uh, textured and matte. Mm, mm, mm. all right so there she goes all right i think that's it for the boxes that i have here and then now let's go ahead and do this one from coach Let's get, okay, so this one was an enabled purchase, but it was also enabled because I wanted it, but I did have some help identifying the price that I want to pull the trigger on and oh, finish this box okay so let's just put that there So, I hope this is the right one. Hold on. You shipped me the wrong bag. This don't feel right. This would not be the first time that I made a purchase from Coach and they sent the wrong bag. It has happened to me three times. Three times. Well, two bags and an accessory. Let me say it that way. Okay, they got it right. They got it right. So, I am not a huge denim carrier. Um, I have. Give me a give me a second. There was a bag that like everybody was stalking do y'all remember this one and like calling store from east coast to west coast north to south and by north i even mean canada tracking down this bag y'all this is where being influenced over purchases can get you in trouble because I just had to have the dreamer. I had to have it in the denim. And do y'all see this? I have not carried this bag or any of my other dreamers. They all still have the tags on them. And so much and so 
that the denim accessories that I purchased to go with this bag, my sister said, can I have those? And I was like, sure, take them, because I haven't carried the bag. <laughs> now I kind of wish that I had my accessories back, but uh, summer shall come again, and Coach will release denim again. Um, and I'm excited about that because I got the field totes 40 in the denim. And this one, I definitely am feeling a bit more. It's a tote, not a satchel. Y'all know I'm a tote girl. Um, I do occasionally travel in jeans and I also do casual Thursdays or Fridays if I have to go into the office if it's the last day of the week then I will do jeans this one I am loving so if you see Candy Crusher <laughs> Or if you can't find her, she is in the enabler corner. Because I told her that there were two field totes that I was looking for. And I was on the fence about whether to get the 30 or the 40. And she reminded me that the 30 is the size of the Duty and Burke Janine. And while I love that bag, while I love that carry, I do have to scale back on my carry. Like I have the essentials. That's right, Brenda, go big or go home. So I know that the 30 works for a lot of you. And I maybe at some point, if I find it and it's at a good price, I may pull the trigger on the 30. Or I may pick it up and gift it to my sister Maybe, maybe not. And I don't have to worry about her with this bag. This is too big for her. She won't ask for this one. But I wanted this one. And I there was another one that I wanted. And she helped me find that one as well. New. I got that one from Saks. And I actually got this one directly from Coach. This one was birthday time. The other one was back in the fall. Um... And I'm loving it. I love the look of this. And I will tell you, I, what I told her is, and I had this conversation as well with um, Rosalind Ellis. I was like, I want that bag. I need that bag. That bag has been calling my name. It needs to come home. It wants to travel with me. It wants to hold laptops. It wants to hold big wallets. It wants to hold denim Nolitas and card cases. It, it wants to do all of that. But I said, uh, why does it have a true religion gene price to it? Like, I was struggling to get my head wrapped around paying as much as Coach was asking for this bag because I felt like they're jeans, and jeans are not going to last forever. My leather will, but denim jeans will not last forever. And finally, the price came down, and I said, okay, okay, that's that's better. I can, I can do that. I can deal with that, and so I did. So let me make sure that the strap, yep, strap is in here. Let's take a look at it. All right. like some of these purchases are late I don't do a whole lot of trends especially coach trends I hate to say it that way but I'm not I don't there are a lot of bags that have been um popular that just didn't get my attention didn't catch my eye and I was like that's okay not everything is for everybody that bag that collection that size, that color, it's not for me. 
this one was not the case. I'm hoping that the threading and that the wear is good on this. But in all honesty, I expect that this bag is going to wear like a pair of jeans. And by that, I mean um, minus the washing, right? I don't anticipate that the denim is going to fade. But I do think that because it is a denim fabric, unless they have done something in the production process to treat this uh, denim, this canvas, this cotton, it is going to eventually wear. I am not going to make the mistake with this bag that I did with my Tory Burch in that I am going to scotch guard it before I move into it because I do believe that makes a difference um, in transfer, in longevity, in vibrancy of colors. I'm sure if I call coaches customer service, they're going to say it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. Heck, it may even void some kind of warranty or whatever. It's, <laughs> so be it. My bag. Gonna scotch guard it before I move into it. This strap, though. Let me talk to you about this strap. This strap uh, goes. This is the strap that color combo. I don't know if I'll use the strap with this one. Because I have a navy web strap from Dooney and Burke. I also have a navy web strap from Michael Kors. So I will likely swap out this strap for navy. Um, but, hold on, let me sit that right there for a second. I'm hoping that this bag has in it what I think it has in it. I think I've shown this one before. Oh, let's see here. This strap, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This strap, I didn't think that the strap that was in here, this is the 30. That's what this one looks like. But this one, let's see here, hold on. Hold please, let me not knock everything over I feel like I like this strap with this feel tote 30 better than I like the one that came with it so I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a round robin of musical straps and swap some straps around to get the um to get them to the bags that i feel like should have been paired with them because i've said this before if there is any brand that can do too much and take away from a bag that would otherwise be perfect it is coached with their color blocking and mixing and matching so this field tote 30, now that that strap that came on the field tote 40 in denim, I'm going to take that strap off and put it on this bag. This strap I will likely put on um, my, I think I have the, what is it? Well, I'm going brain dead. Um, the Dooney and Burke Large Camden. I have it in natural, so this is not going to be a spot on, but I feel like I can use the strap with that. I think I also picked it up in Bordeaux, so this may end up being the web strap, because remember on my work, when I talked about the worst for 2022, it was that Camden, because the strap is too long, I needed a web strap or adjustable strap, so this one may come off and go there. And then for the Feel Tote 40 in the denim, I will take my Dooney Navy web strap or the Navy Michael Kors strap and pair that with the denim. And I think those may be like the permanent assignments. I still need to find um, a strap to go with the Navy one from 
last week's video. Um, but maybe just the navy. Maybe I put the navy with both of them. I don't know. But that's the 30. I've shown this one before. I actually picked this one up from Dillard's. Got this one from Dillard's. And again, it has a leather bottom as well. Not collared all around like the um, like the Dempsey, like the red. I'm trying to think if I have another one. The canvas one. Does the canvas one have leather under the bottom? I need to dig that one out because I've not shared it and it needs to be scotch guarded so while I've got the scotch guard out I may just do several so that they're ready to go when I get ready to carry them so I still have and I may feel film, film that separately I still have a Tory Burch purchase and I'm excited about that one I'm excited about that one Tory Burch that will be a spring um carry even though I purchased it for my birthday um, and then I have a Furla accessory um, purchase. I'm excited about that. Um, I have, so I did, I've got like, um, I haven't filmed my Sephora birthday haul that I probably won't even, by the time I get that done, I probably won't even mention that it's birthday stuff. Y'all will be like, where, where did she get those holiday kits from? That's because of that. I also have a birthday shoe haul. Um, I need to film that. And then there were some other things that I just picked up, like um, pajama sets and sleep mask and um some holiday gift sets uh i already mentioned the shoes we've kind of gone through the bags for the most part so now i think we can move and start talking about holiday stuff when i come back i cannot promise you that i will be here next sunday um, one, because I will be traveling for, um, the funeral, which I am anticipating is going to be probably Saturday. Um, the other is that my brother has a birthday next week. So I'm going to go and, uh, spend some time with him. So we are going to Super Bowl together and we are going to hang out together and start all kind of foolishness together next week so again i'm learning family first um while i love all of you and i appreciate all of the support family first these last five months have um have been uh, shaping forming for me as um i have tried to find new normal um so if i'm not here i will try to have something pre-recorded and we'll do a premiere so that we can all interact um during the chat but this will be the first super bowl sunday that i can remember since i started going live where i'm not sure we will have a live super bowl um live stream yeah, I'm not sure that I'll do that. Unless y'all want to hang out with us. I don't know. Um, I love my family, but for other people, it may, you know, uh, I, I have a picture frame on my mantle of a family picture. Um, and it says, you call it chaos, we call it family. Because the kids and it's, it, I, I love the picture, but, you know, everybody's family, I think, like that. Other people will call it chaos, and you're like, fuck, that's normal. That's just my family. So that that is us. So I'm looking forward to those things. Um, not looking forward to a funeral, but anytime I can see my family, I'm, I'm 
I need that. I need that. And I've been getting more of it. And I feel like the more losses I experience, the more I need and the more I will gravitate to that. So when I can be here, as I said, in 2021, not knowing what was coming, when I can be here, I will be here and I will be present. When I can't, I give you the gift of time for you to do some self-care, some family care, some friend care, some house care, some whatever it is that you have neglected or need time for. When I'm not here, I give you that time back for you to um, invest in the people and you and the things around you. And so that um, you can create memories and moments that will matter and that will outlast any of the stuff we purchase during our retail therapy time. So that is it for me. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up before you head out. I appreciate it. Share this video with another purse enthusiast. We've got Coach. We've got Dooney. Um, and that's it. You only get one life. Make sure that you live it with quality, right? It's not quantity. It is absolutely quality. Quality of time with those people that will mean the most. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care, everyone.